begin here at 430 with chaos at a hayride in South Jersey. Groups of teens began fighting at the attraction in Collingswood, ruining what was supposed to be a family friendly event for so many. Now officials are working to make changes to prevent this from happening again during this holiday season. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman joins us live with details and brand new video of this havoc that unfolded on a hayride. Trish. Well, Sarah Bryan, officials say many of these teenagers were dropped off by rideshare services, either here to the park where the hayride was happening or to the Wawa nearby. Police say they quickly started causing problems and fighting, causing the hayride to be shut down early. This is one of the fights that happened at the Collingswood Haunted Hayride. A bystander saying she took this video during the event. Another student, Jude Adamali, was on the Haunted Hayride in Knight Park on Saturday evening. It's uh, usually like fun and like it's scary sometimes, but it's just like a fun experience to hang out with your friends. But then he says groups of teens started fighting in the park as people were trying to enjoy the main attraction. And there was like punches thrown and basically I got on the hayride right when this happened. Parent Scarlett Rose said he and his daughters had just left as groups of rowdy teens started showing up. We got home and about maybe like half hour, 45 minutes later, my littlest one, who's always on TikTok, she says, oh my gosh, look what's happening. I thought she was joking. Um, oh, they're throwing punches or whatever, and somebody videotaped like a fight happening. Police say around 200 juveniles were dropped off at Knight Park on Saturday at the fundraiser for several PTA organizations. When those teens began line cutting and fighting, police were called from Collingswood and neighboring towns. Even with that response, they were just overwhelmed by the number of people and, the, and the, what, was, what was happening. Similar incidents happened at community events in Gloucester Township and Pensauken over the summer. In the other towns where this has gone on, like we've now got unfortunately some experience in this. Um, they went through what we are now, which is there's tapes to be reviewed, there's video to be looked at, and charges are were filed after those events. Charges can still be filed here. Now, no arrests were made on Saturday. The mayor saying that the police were more concerned with dispersing the crowds at the time. Now, no serious injuries were recorded, according to police. Now, the mayor and police are working on a plan with other events, especially with the holidays coming up, to make sure that this doesn't happen at other community events in the future. We're live in Collingswood, New Jersey. Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Yeah, really sad that it happened to begin with, but especially that these younger kids had to, had to see it happen. Uh, Trish, thank you.